Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we've seen how to send a HTTP request to a jobs portal web page to get a response with the data containing the list of jobs and information that we are interested in. In this video, we'll see how to loop through that response to extract the data and put it in a table in the Excel worksheet. And to do that, we're going to put the response into an HTML document. So remember we declared an HTML variable in the first video? Oh, you didn't see that one? check it out here. But what we did, it was just to add the reference to the Microsoft HTML object library and then declare a variable as an HTML document. That's up here. So let's add a commentary here, read response HTML document. First, we're going to create a HTML file and assign to that variable, so set HTML create object as an HTML file and then we're going to have the HTTP request response as inner HTML in the body of the HTML file. So html.body.innerHTML equals the response. We do that to manipulate the response as an HTML document so that we can query and search for the information we are looking for. And here we are leaving the VVA programming space and getting into web programming and HTML. So if this is new to you, you're going to get confused, but there are tons of videos on YouTube to understand what's that all about. If we go back to the web page, here for each box or each job advert, we probably want to get the job title, the company name here and uh, the, the location, and we could get the salary and any other information. So to do that, we need to inspect the HTML document. So if we right click on the job title, for example, and select inspect element, we see the HTML document here and the element with the job title has been selected. If we hover over other elements, they are highlighted in the web page. So we can easily identify which are the elements for the information we are after. The job title element is inside a heading tag and add a div, and that's all actually inside a table cell, TD, with that class name, inside a table row, TR tag, a T body, and a table. And the table is inside other div with the class name job scene beacon. I like that. So all the information we need is probably inside this element, which is inside other divs, and this A tag here, which is a hyperlink that is going to take to other page with more details about the job. So now that we've seen the structure of the document, we can choose how to get the data that we want. And there are basically three ways to get a HTML element. And these are to get the element by ID. And the only ID we've seen here is above the hyperlink tag. Here, this element has an ID which is usually a unique identifier, so probably all jobs are inside this element for this page, or we can get elements by class name, or also we can get elements by tag name. In this case, we could get the elements we need by the table or table cell tag, as we've seen the info is inside a table. Well, there are actually two tables if we look farther down, but all of that is inside the job beacon div here div with a class job scene beacon so we're gonna get elements by that class name and the information for each job is gonna be there inside of each of those elements with that class name and if we go down here and hover we see that the company name is also there the location the salary the description is in other table but also in there Okay, so let me copy that class name, job scene beacon, and go back to the VBA editor, and we're going to start a loop for each div element, for example, or call it div as, as you want, but that's actually going to be a HTML element. In HTML, the variable we defined earlier, dot, get elements by class name, and here we paste the class name. And each element contains information for each job, and we want to have that in a different row. So I'll have here r equals r plus 1. And to start on row 2, let's add before r equals 1. 
Now we need all what's inside the div and we get it into a HTML collection with set div collection equals the div element dot all. And finally, we can loop through that collection to find the job title, company name, etc. So for each element in the div collection, and here's the tricky part, we need to find again a way to target the information we are after. So for job title, let's go back to the browser. We see that's inside this heading tag with the class name having job title. And that's one of the elements we're going to go through in the loop. So if element.className equals or rather the word job title because the class is slightly different when it's a new job. So if in string element.className comma job title with capital T is greater than zero, then let's add the job to the first column, range A and R dot value equals the element inner text. Okay, now for the company name. If we go back here, we see it's in here and the inner text is inside the A tag, a link to the company info probably, and inside this other element with the class name of company name. Oh, that one was easy. So we copy that and then in the macro, if element.class name equals company name, then we put it in the second column, range b and r dot value equals element.inner text. And we can do the same with location. See back here in the web page below the company name, th that's the rating, and below is the location inside the div with the class name company location. So we copy that again, and if element class name equals company location, then we put it in column C, range C, R value is the element inner text. So let's add some headers here, job title, company name, and location. And if we run the macro now, we get the list of jobs with that info. But yeah, the job title also has the word new for new jobs, and we don't want to have that. So if you're interested to know how to get rid of that and get other information, let me know in the comments and I will make part three to work out those details. But that's basically how we scrape data into Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.